thought I'd run you guys through on how to test an igniter from an R33 GTR. These igniters are the same uh, between the 32 and 33, so if you have one, um, they can be interchanged between the two. These are just a set of transistors um, inside, one per pin. Uh, so if you know how to test a transistor, then that's fine, they're easy. Um, but like I say, I thought I'd run you through quickly on how to do it. Um, there's not a lot of information on the net on how to test these. Uh, if you have the manual for the um, for the 32 or 33 GTRs, it does tell you how to test it, um, but it's wrong, um, and it's well slightly wrong, and you will find that it's quite um, hard to understand in some ways. The um, manual talks about resistance between zero and um, infinite, or whether it is infinite or not. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'll just quickly run you through on how to test these. Underneath you'll find that it's got um, a series of numbers, uh, 1 through to 6 and then E, um, and then on the other side, um, on some of them, you'll find that it is also marked. Um, you can see on that one there. So, as I said before, they're just transistors. Um, they're marked base, collector and emitter. Um, you basically want to just grab your multimeter set it to resistance um, and work your way through the pins so for your first test you want to start with your positive on the base side and your negative on the collector side and you will find that um, you should have resistance as you can see there 8.32 mega ohms on that pin And about the same on the others, um, all the way through you should have some resistance. Um, as it says in the instruction manual, um, you shouldn't get zero and you shouldn't get infinity. You're looking for something in between that doesn't give you a number to work with. Um, now to test to see um, whether it's faulty, you want to make sure, and as the manual says, um, you want to have an infinite number, which is open line on a digital multimeter, um, or you want no resistance or infinite resistance. Um, so again, all you do is put your negative now onto the base side and positive onto the collector. Put it onto your pin. Then you should see an open line like that one there. Now this one is faulty. Um, and if I move it over to this pin here, you'll find that it brings up a resistance of 37 mega ohms. Um, that pretty much says that this thing's shot. Uh, this is actually a newish one that I brought um, and now have to replace, uh, which I did replace I should say. Um, this is my original one out of the GTR and as I said before um, this also tested poorly in the reverse direction. I found that with this my highest resistance flow in reverse was about 16 mega ohms and this one was as you saw up and upwards of close to 40. Um, this one didn't give me a misfire at low RPM or um, while it was idling or anything like that. It was after 10 minutes of driving um, and once things had heated up. This one however once it was plugged in um, it failed straight away. The car ran poorly. Um, you could tell it was missing on, on a cylinder. Um, so basically that says that your car will run okay on something with a little bit of backflow. Um, like I say up to 16. And then this one here um, with your know, upwards of 38 towards 40. Um, the car won't run well at all. You just... Um, I, I replaced these with another one, um, had open line in all direct, uh, in the backwards flow on all of them, car ran fine, um, and it basically fixed the problem. So yeah, that's um, the sort of simple way on how to check to see if these have failed. Um, I know that my explanation might not be perfect, but I'll post up a, um, a picture and some um, numbers and stuff that I found. I just thought I'd show you quickly inside as well. This is inside the box. So you have your um, transistors here on this line. This is the reason why this one here failed. Um, 
it actually is cracked and this one was giving me a um, really re weird reading of between open line and resist um, and some resistance it would flash on the meter um, in the reverse flow so yeah I think and I, it's funny I noticed this taking it for a drive uh, once I replaced the um, emitter, uh, the the whole unit this car like I said didn't make a lot of um, it made a lot of noise in um, as it was going down hills and stuff like that you know backfires and things like that the new um, unit seemed to clear that up a little bit um, but yeah as I said pretty simple to test hopefully you can understand my ramblings on um, how to test this um, this device like I say it's pretty simple if you've got a meter hopefully uh, this helps someone else